Hello and welcome everyone to our basic Saturday training. This is where we all are coming together. You know, Tom Pinnock said it on the last training that you did. Was it last Saturday? You know, we are in unsettling times right now, and it's really our time to shine, to work together like never before, to care about each other, to love each other, encourage and help each other up. You know, um, no other company around has distributors working sidelines like we do in Relive. So I congratulate you all for being here, and I hope you're texting some friends and buddies to get on and join you because we're going to have a great time this hour. And I will be, um, my co-host is Edith S. Carpita. So welcome, everyone, and congratulations for being here. Okay. Uh-oh. We're not forwarding. I'll just kind of start my story. You'll see my picture in a minute. Um, I am Diane Helmo. There it is. I'm a former kindergarten teacher, and I found Relive 27 years ago from a friend. I would follow this family anywhere, so I trusted her. I was 34. Our health was poor. We had a little extra money, but we didn't have a life, and Kevin was working 80 to 90 hours a week as a firefighter and a part-time painter. Um, I went to a presentation, kind of hesitantly, but I went looking for a product, and I found an opportunity. I said if half of what they're saying is true, they have a gold mine. And I found a way to get myself to the top profit margin, thinking I could do what they're doing. And I was always looking for a way to make 2000 a month. Guys, I had looked into so many network marketing companies, and I just couldn't do sales. So here I am, I bring my husband home from his side jobs into getting to that highest margin. He was able to close down his painting business and he came home to be a dad. And I was able to put in more time and he took over the children's duties. And, you know, we had four kids under seven. Mom, my income has always supplemented what, what Kevin's check was from the fire department. We have earned that money every single month and have earned numerous almost monthly cash bonuses and many, many trips, including the Hawaii trip last year, and I just earned it this year. Um, you know, it began with a few hundred dollars a month, 500, 1,000. My best month was 12,000. Uh, I realized the more consistent I was, the more lives were changed and the more money I earned just caring for people. And in the past 27 years, we've blessed so many lives, including our four children, that have been able to go to private schools, kindergarten to college, and we paid for four of their weddings. Um, I'm now 60, Kevin's retired, and we're able to travel. I work my portable business visiting our four kids in four different states. I love helping people. We found freedom with Relive, you guys, and um, I'll tell you what, we have found freedom and our life couldn't be any better. We were drowning and my friend threw me a life jacket. I'll be forever grateful to her uh, for, for picking up the phone and calling me, but more importantly that I had the courage to say yes. And we are gonna share with you from our hearts what Relive means to us and um, how we're working the business together. And I have so much fun working with this girl. She's grown so much. My co-host here is Edith S. Carpita. Thank you, Edith. Thank you, Diane. It's an honor and uh, what an opportunity to be sharing with everybody. As Diane said, my name is Edith S. Carpita. I'm from Chicago. I'm a former teacher of 16 years for the Chicago Public School System. And when I found Relive four years ago, I didn't even know how deteriorated my health was. And I was skeptical at first. Um, you know, I said, if this product really works, it's gonna help me with the one thing I've never been able to address, which was the weight loss. And I've tried numerous things. Uh, everything seemed to help me initially. I would come down, go back up. A lot of times come back up more than um, I, I had lost. And so, uh, weight loss has always been a problem and I came to find out very late in life after giving birth to my second child who's now 13 that part of that was a condition called PCOS and um, you know been on metformin been on a lot of different things to try and help with the weight loss and nothing helped and so 
of course, you know, if I, when I tell you that I got on the core nutrition in capsules and I saw eight pounds of weight loss, some people might say that's not a lot. For me, it was life changing because it was the start. And I was ecstatic. And so um, when a few months after that, the company came out with the Fit3 program, I uh, asked my husband and I to be part of the pilot group. Of course, we said yes, because we had already experienced Emily, I don't know if someone else's mic is open. You're a distributor. Invite people in your downline to the group. If everybody does that, then we should be covered. Um, Edith or Diane, can you lines again, please? Item to the group. And then when they get there, guys, make sure you encourage them to, to write their story out. Or right. the make sure the lines are muted, please. Thank you. So um, my husband and I said yes to being on that pilot program for Fit3 because we had already experienced amazing results. Not only the weight loss, as you guys can see there in the picture, um, but for me, I experienced initially an increase in energy. My stress levels were reduced. I was sleeping better and more profoundly. I was going back into my teaching job with a smile on my face, coming back home and tackling the responsibilities of being a mom and wife. That returned the family dynamic to our household. Mom was no longer crabby and taking it out on the kids and husband, and it just restored peace. And so I will be forever grateful with Relive for just that. But on top of that, it went on to address a host of other health concerns that I did not even know I had. Um, as we continue, I will share a little bit more about my results. Um, but along with the PCOS, which controlled my menstrual cycle, the other big one, um, besides the weight loss, was um, avoiding carpal tunnel surgery. So, you know, not only have I experienced results with my health, our family of four takes this and they've had amazing results as well. So I am uh, definitely forever grateful. Three short months after being on the products ourselves, people started asking us, what are you doing? You guys look great, you're losing weight, you're always smiling, what's going on? And so because of that, my husband and I decided to start sharing. We felt it was a moral obligation and we had been blessed and we did not want to keep that for ourselves. And so we started sharing. And that's how our business was born. It was born right here from our home. And um, it's been consistently growing ever since. Uh, in March, we hit a level called Key Director. Uh, that came with about a Edith, you're going to need to star six to come back on. Okay. Am I there now? There you are. Yep. Right. And speak up just a little bit too. So uh, in March, my husband and I hit a, a level called key director, which brought in 1,500 just in bonuses. Um, and our business has been growing consistently actually now for four years. And there's a lot of excitement going on with our business. Uh, we will be in Hawaii. We are very close to qualifying and that is going to happen. Um, and, and we're just blessed to be working with people that have a heart to help others like Diane. Um, I can't thank you enough, Diane, for all your support. Um, but not just Diane and not just people within our line. Um, there's so many people with Relive that aren't financially connected that have helped me so much and I'm just forever grateful. So with that said, we will move on to a little bit of who Relive International is. And uh, we are a 32 year old food science company. We produce nutritional products that are clinically proven and patented. Our products are backed by science and they are guaranteed to work if you take them as it is directed. We are a company with high integrity and very strong family values. And this is an amazing foundation to two major concerns for people worldwide today, health and finances. With Relive, you are in business for yourself, but not by yourself. We even have the system in place that guarantees your success. And that is the Relive solution. So, I'd like to share with you with the next slide, just something that happened for our business this week. And um, I have a friend 
I have a friend who decided to come in as a quick start just for personal consumption. Of course, we are using the system with her and she's been introduced to stories, but I had no idea that she was even thinking about the business. And so all of a sudden, out of the blue, a day or two ago, she texts me some business questions. Uh, what was your first year's profit? How many customers? Uh, a couple of others. And I just replied, you know, I was, I couldn't grab the phone at the time to have a phone conversation with her, but I did text her. And, you know, nowadays with social media, LOL, why are you asking these numbers questions? Uh, are you thinking about the business? And I said to her, what you see in this slide here, why would you compare your results to mine? Relive has all the same amazing products for anyone. We all work with the same and most generous compensation plan that our injuries industry has. And so, you know, we have a proven Relive success system. The only variable here is you and me. What is going to make you, the difference in your real business is you. So we need to remember our why, why we got started. We need to remember our goals and our dreams, and we need to get to work. So, you know, yes, anyone can come in to relive and do less than me, more than me, or the same as me. But what's going to determine that is you and the action that you take. And again, you know, the products are the same for everyone. The compensation plan is the same for everyone. The success system is the same for everyone. You just have to learn how to grab a hold of it and make it work for you. With that said, we'll go on to a little bit about our core nutrition. With Relive, we have nutrition made simple in two steps. Step one is our core nutrition which is available in whey or so soy-based protein. And it also comes in chocolate or vanilla flavor to address the growing and developmental needs of children. Our core nutrition heals the body at an epigenetic level with our clinically proven formulas. They help fill the gaps of what you get and you don't get out of the food that you eat. And they work at the cellular level. Step two are our targeted solutions. These will be added when someone pinpoints a specific health concern that they would like to address. For me, it was that severe carpal tunnel pain. When I incorporated Artifact with my core nutrition and Lunarich capsules, I was able to avoid carpal tunnel surgery. I no longer live in pain and I can garden with my husband, shovel snow in the winters of Chicago, and play volleyball with my kids. And that is such a blessing. We also have our um, new product defense. Um, and here pictured is also the Luna Rich capsules, which you know I don't go a day without. With our Relive Defense, it's another example of how Relive is a pioneer in our industry. To be able to release this product at a time of most need, it really does reinforce that there are no coincidences. There is a larger force here at work with Relive. And in July of last year, we did release Relive's exclusive line of CBD products. It has never been easier to address aches and pains. Our balm has been described as providing on the spot pain relief with an almost unheard of 1000 milligrams of CBD concentration. And our isolate and full spectrum tinctures, which taste delicious, have been you, tools that I've used to help some friends and family out of stress, anxiety, lack of sleep, to name a few. Our Relive hemp extracts are third party tested, organically grown in the United States, non GMO and gluten free, and they are also multi step tested to ensure purest, purity and efficacy, of course. They are also eco friendly. The, power, the powerful products have been matched with an incomparable compensation plan, which my dear sponsor and friend, um, Diane Hemmel, will take you through now. Hi, thank you, Edith. So, you know, guys, we need to know these numbers. And like Edith said, there's three parts of the equation. The products, she talked about them. And I'm going to talk about the second thing is the marketing plan. You know, 
they don't ship um, Tommy Moody and, you know, Kathy Penny, the good product, and us, the bad. Everybody has the same product, and that's what I love about Relive. It's a level playing field, and if we can get ourselves out of it and put people in there, you know what? We're going to build a very successful, happy, and healthy business, but one of the ways to build it is to know these numbers. I was never good at numbers. I was awful at math. My gosh, if my math teachers could see me today doing these equations with, with different percentages and the wholesale and the retail and the bonuses, how you earn bonuses. I mean, they'd be falling off their seats. But I'll tell you, one thing that I was good at was memorization. And what I came to realize is these numbers, they never change. All we have to do is memorize it. So if you can memorize, you can do the Relive business. You need to take the time to learn to know this. There's five ways that Relive pays us. And maybe hit mute if you're... Um, I like if those. you could hit mute, there's five ways to earn income with Relive. Retail, wholesale, overrides, bonuses and trips, and an ambassador program. Our goal as distributors is to build a distribution network where you are there and you just keep introducing friends, families, relatives to different kinds of um, you know, to all parts of the Relive system. Make your list and set appointments. So how does that work? Well, okay, there's retail. This is very, very common. People want to get on the products, okay? A lot of people don't want the business, okay? But get them on the product. Share them everything, and if that's where they fall, great. Take care of them. So put your name in that box. What if you introduce this to a friend or relative and a neighbor? If you're at the 40%, guys, and they're purchasing $100, you capture $40. 40 times 3, you've made four, eight, hundred and twenty dollars And now you take good customer care with them, and they'll be with you for life. Everyone's a potential customer, and you can bring in more than three. There's no limit. Okay. So wholesale is the next progression, okay? This is very, very natural. You pay $20.00. And now you decide what profit margin to come in at. But our people don't know what to do, so we need to know these numbers to show them. And if we don't know, then we want to learn it. Sean Bergeron at Noon Central every single Wednesday shows the marketing plan. Get on it and learn it, guys, and get people you know on it, because this is a very powerful tool on Wednesdays at 12 central standard on zoom from positively charged but here's the stair step there's 20 percent to 40 now the top is 40 and that's where a lot of people um this is where you want to be this is where you save the most when you eat it and this is where you profit the most when you share it you get five thousand dollars worth of relive at the discount level it's 3250 do you know what you're saving one thousand seven hundred fifty that equates to free product. So by making that step, it's a one-year, 100% money-back guarantee. There's a two-year shelf life on the product. This is a great decision for everyone. You will never fall below 40 or 35%, never, when you make that decision. And um, the next most common, which I'm only going to talk about the two because these are the only ones that I do, is 25%. We call that a quick start. It's where you get $500 worth of product. Your investment in the green is $375. So you save $125. Again, that equates to free product. And free shipping on those two most common ways to come in this month. You can always move up. You're, once you come in, you can always move up to where you want. Let's look at the example at the 40%. So you're at 40. Put your name in that box. Oop, if you'll go back. This is how it works, guys. You're now sharing stories, the entire story with people. The first person says, I just want to be a preferred customer at 10%. You're going to capture that wholesale difference of 30%. Because remember this. Every can that leaves Relive has a 40% profit margin attached to it. If someone comes in at 10%, you'll capture that 30%, and you get a wholesale check weekly. So you would get that um, that week. Someone comes in at 25%, you earn a 15% wholesale difference. Again, that goes to you, and it's a wholesale check. 
the 35%, if you have someone, you earn a 5% percentage. Now, what happens when someone comes in at the 40? Well, they're no longer in your group. They break away. You don't earn any more wholesale, but you're going to start earning residuals, overrides. So I'm going to share with you just an example of what could happen. You are a master affiliate, that top profit margin, okay? I did that not because I had the money, but because I knew I needed to make the most amount of money in the few amount of hours that I could put in in my crazy day with my husband working 80 to 90 hours a week and sick kids. So I went master affiliate, and Susan, I put her on the product. She becomes a master affiliate. This example is just five levels deep of master affiliates. Think of them as franchises, if you will, um, and we all purchased one. What are we doing? We're wholesaling and retailing Relive because I found Susan and worked with her. Susan had a friend, Jim, that popped up. She sponsored him as a master affiliate. Jim found Wendy. Wendy could be anywhere. Wendy found Maria, finds Maria. She could be anywhere. Maria finds Bill, and they pay you five levels deep, 8% on your first franchise, 6, 4, 3, 2. They're really distributorships, and this is what we talked about initially. It's all about building that distribution network, and this is one leg example. You can bring in many legs. Okay. So what, what do we do? How do we build this? Well, you know, you want to know the five elements of success. They're identify. So if you identify people, that's one way. The second after you identify, you're going to connect with them. And you see those three pieces of the puzzle there? Those three pieces means you're doing, going to do a lot of three-way calling with connecting, okay? Because you got to think of yourself as an attorney, getting witness after witness in front of your prospect, your customer, your distributor. And you want the other people to share their stories. It's witness after witness that really, hands down, you know, wins, wins the case, the one who has the most witnesses. And so that's kind of like us as an attorney. And all these distributors around the globe will help us with, with our um, three-way calls. It's a beautiful company. I, that's what I love. Then you share the whole story. And we have sharing the whole story um, webinars. There's so many of them that have been recorded. There's live going on almost daily. Then you ask for a decision, you register and go. And these are our daily fundamentals. And we're going to review them um, in more depth, depth right now. So the first one, guys, is identify. You want to make a list of people that you know, that you love, that you care about. You know, um, you want to go back to old prospects too. But in our day-to-day -day living, we have people in our center of influence that have constant complaints. It's either health or finances, and I think you would agree. Throughout this presentation, I challenge you to find 10 people that you want to talk to about the product and 10 people that need to hear about the business. Write why you thought of them, because you need a purpose while you call them. You're listening as you're out and about. You're jotting their names down. And now, you know, this is your list. Who are the first five you're going to contact today? You always want to have new people to talk to. As I moved into our new home in Las Vegas, I was shopping for material in Joanne Fabrics. And many of you have heard this story, but I love it. And um, the, first of all, I asked a question to the woman there about fabric, and she was, like, quite rude. And another lady had a cart filled with material, turned to me, and answered my question. And she even said, wow, how rude. So I got to talking with her. I'm like, hey, I'm looking for someone who can help me make curtains. Obviously, you're, you're good at sewing. <laughs> Look at your cart. And we got to talking. One thing led to another. We exchanged numbers. I didn't even talk about Relive. My goal, my mission that day was to find someone who could help me make curtains for my house. Got home, and you know what? Who would have known that that woman would have been a quick start this past February, a master affiliate a month ago, working the business, and Laura has now introduced it to her sister Teresa in California. I am so excited about her getting her health results, and she's so excited. She loves these stories, and Laura loves the stories, that she even now has introduced it to her son-in-law in Utah, 
who has um, cancer, and he's on the products. So we never know where one conversation will take us. We never know where someone we're going to identify is going to go. I'm working for certain candidates for the 2020 election, as well as 40 Days for Life. I'm out with that. Our Lord, I believe, will direct us to people looking for hope. He always does. Go find something you're passionate about, you guys, and you will find people with like minds. And I'll go to the next one. And build your list. These are just a few examples of how you can find people to talk to. I'm not going to review them all, but, you know, um, it's so important. I, I remember when I first got started, I didn't know what to say, but I did say I value your opinion. This is what I said to my husband, and the Lord just must have put it in my heart. I said, honey, I saw something. I heard something. I met these amazing people. I really value your opinion. I know we're taking the products, but you really got to go to a presentation to meet who I met, to see who I saw, and to hear what I heard. And he went that day, and after the meeting, he turned to me and he said, Honey, this isn't anything I would do, but go for it. If you want to do it, go for it. And so I, that's when you know I found a way to get myself to the highest profit margin. And, and another thing you can say is, to someone who you're identifying and calling, or maybe you're meeting them in the shopping mall or the grocery store and they say something, you know, like people were noticing Edith was losing weight and Martin and they wanted to know what they're doing. You know, I, I say this is something really special. It's not the norm. And you really came to mind. I can't believe I just saw you here. This is not a coincidence. We're supposed to talk. And I tell them, What's a good time that you, you can talk today or tomorrow? Have that sense of urgency. Here's another thing, guys, and I'll just spend a little bit of time on this. I've been on this product for blank years, fill in the blank, and I fill in the blank. I've been on the product 27 years. I've never felt better. I continually get better health, and now it's, I'm on it for prevention. I've been in this business for blank years and blank. I've been in this business for 27 years. It's been life-changing. You need to hear about it. Okay. And then, you know, just um, Edith will talk about what do you do after you identify people. So the second step is connect. And we can't hear you, Edith. The second step is connect. Can you hear me? The second step is connect. Yeah, maybe put your mouth closer to there, yeah. I don't know. There's like static or something. Maybe, maybe, are you on your telephone or the computer? I'm on the desktop. Are you on the computer? Yes. Okay. I can right. hear her fine. Okay, let's see if that works better. I took off the um, speakers. Great. Okay, so the next step is connect. You wanna review your 20 prospects with your upline and see who's first. Uh, we do wanna take the person that you think is going to um, make the decision because then that person can come along with you to uh, connect with the others. And I have an example here of a friend that was introduced to uh, our business when we first got started. And the reason why my husband and I thought of them was because they just have great energy. Um, you know, we got along well, we attend the same couples group at our parish. And uh, we were out one night with them. I think we had gone to the movies together. And in that conversation, it was just, gosh, you gotta share with them. So we did share with them. And at that point they said no, which was okay. Um, but what has happened is that, you know, as Diane said, you, you don't forget them forever. And um, I know Eileen Tesh says this too, right? A no now is not a no forever. And what happened um, in June is that she came into my heart again. And I reached out to her and I connected mm -hmm. with her. And I said, you know, your life has changed. You've just had a baby. Uh, I know that you've been also questioning your career, both in terms of, you know, being a new mom and because there's some moral conflicts there with um, being in the public school system as a teacher. And so I just wanted to share this with you again. Are you open to learning about it? 
and she thanked me. She said, Edith, I was praying for something. Yes, I want to learn more. And so, you know, I, I reminded her of her, of, of her whys, even though maybe she didn't realize that relive is what she was looking for and why I took conversation that she had had with me. And I know that those points that were a concern for her were, you know, relive has a solution for that. So what did I do next? Um, I connected her to Diane. I connected her to my upline and she shared and then we did other connections. So, you know, not only do Daniela and I had a personal relationship before, but this uh, working with her now is creating a deeper personal connection. Uh, you know, she realizes that I want to help and I want to help her out of a situation that she's dealing with that is pressing for her. It's a concern for her. You know, the connections didn't stop with Diane. Um, Katie Moore, Elizabeth Hill, Eileen Tash, and these are all people that because I know their stories and I know Daniela's stories, I know it's going to be a good connection. So we're moving on to sharing the Relive story, Diane. Okay, great. And that's so important to make those connections, guys. We connect when we first meet people and we connect, you know, introducing them to people to help them make decisions. I didn't know if you said that, but that woman became a master affiliate two days ago, right? Did you mention that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you mentioned Anyway, so it's just so exciting to work with people. And, you know, share the relive story. Know your why. Know your belief, what is in your heart. Be real and authentic, guys, and share the entire story, the product, the company, the business, the mission of feeding the children. Know your story. Your story has the potential to change many, many lives. Imagine, um, not imagine, but think about the stories that you hear. You know what makes them powerful? They've tweaked it. They're succinct, and it's like you want to know more. Don't go on and on and on. Your story should be a minute, and the appointment is where you share the rest of it or on a three-way call with them. So I, I didn't think I could do this business, but you know what? When I heard business, I freaked, but when I heard, would you like to help someone, I said, well, yeah. Well, it's the same thing. It's just reworded differently, my friend said. Who did you think of after this meeting? And I wrote down 12 names. I asked my friends, my prospects, my customers, who did you think of after you saw that webinar? Because now it's not at a hotel. It's now on Zoom in our houses. Who did you think of? It's this, we do the same thing after a presentation. But during, during the presentation, you want to borrow the strengths and have that sense of urgency. You listen to what people want. You may be more on the business. You may just pepper the business in depending on what they want. How do you know what they want? When you connect them, like Ida said, you're going to hear what they want. Health or business, you're going to hear. And that's what you're going to share the real of story. You're going to focus on what they want to hear. Okay, Edith, I guess you could do the next one, right? Yeah, so, you know, uh, we're still sharing the whole Relive story. We help new people engage themselves and also who they know. So um, as a teacher, I've been trained to meet students where they're at. For my Relive business, that has meant meeting up with people in their homes because, you know, for whatever reason, they don't want to attend the presentation or go to a hotel when we were able to do that. Um, and so I've gone to their homes. I've met them for coffee at local cafes. Um, and along with, you know, doing the in homes at, in our personal home and in distributors homes, uh, this has been really effective for us. Uh, I don't know, there's something about the environment and the setting you know, Diane has also been uh, gracious enough to open up her home where we've invited people to lunch and learns. And it just, you know, it, it makes it more, less stressful, um, it more relaxing. 
you know, and there are so many tools out there, especially now that we've had to embrace, you know, the social media. Um, Relive has so many, so many tools out there. And I just say, you know, um, share however you can share, however you feel comfortable, but share the bigger picture, share the whole story. It really does make the difference. And um, we, we don't have to know it all. Uh, all we got to do is be honest, use the Relive uh, system to educate and validate. And um, you'll be surprised. I mean, the results you get when you let go of what you think needs to be done. And I say this from experience, you know, when I let go of what I thought needed to be done, when I let go of, but this person said this and doesn't want that and this, that, and the other, and I just embraced the system, I definitely started to see the changes in my real business. So, you know, um, they're, they're ambassadors and uplines for a reason. I think that we need to um, take their advice uh, more to heart. Uh, and the next thing you do then is you ask for a decision. Um, and I struggled with this at the beginning too, you know, and I think because I was making some mistakes. Uh, I thought of people maybe for the product, maybe for the business, and therefore I compartmentalized what I was sharing with them. And I cannot stress enough the importance of sharing the whole picture even with people that say, oh, I don't want a business, you know, and we can share with them why we share both things. And that's because we don't play God, you know, uh, you're an adult, you can make your own decision, but I'm going to share with you what was shared with me and whatever decision you make after that, that's fine. And it really makes it easier to ask for a decision when you expose someone to the bigger picture, to both aspects of it, um, because you're educating them about our company. You're educating them about what our products have done for people. Some people have grabbed a hold of the health results. Some people have grabbed a hold of the business results, but you're not making that decision for them. And when you expose them to the bigger picture, how easy is it to say, where would you like to get started? What would you like to do versus how many cans of now do you want? And, you know, making a judgment of whether or not they can afford that. And maybe putting thoughts into their head that weren't even there. So again, um, when I started to expose people to the bigger picture, it became so much easier for me to just say at the end, where would you like to get started? What would you like to do? And then <laughs> Rita Montenegro says this too, just shut up. Wait for them to process the question you've just asked them. Maybe process the information that you've exposed them to. I know I'm a person that, you know, it takes me a while to process things. So now I'm just going to be quiet and listen. Let them tell me what they're thinking about and what they want to do. And for some people, it is going to be reviewing those options, you know, and we just say, all right, let's get you started. And who do you know that might want to start a real business, especially if they're in this for the business, because there is no more fun in doing this alongside someone you know, love and care about. You know, it, it's just, it's a blessing. And, and actually that's part of the reason of why my excitement with sharing it with my family and friends. I'd love to travel the world with my family and friends. And so I want to do my business with them. And, you know, with people that we feel connected to, like Daniela and her husband, Pancho. Okay, and so, Roger. yeah, there are, um, you know, two options that Diane talked about earlier. And um, I think I had um, my friend who came in as a quick start uh, for personal consumption. She was asking about a level in between. And I have a distributor in California also who was talking about a level in between. Um, but the purchase that she wanted to make wasn't, um, it wasn't enough to bump her up to the next level. 
So this became a very big visual for them as to do you see why most people come in at 25 or 40 percent? And so uh, those are very, very good options. Um, and, and any decision with Relive is a good decision. Um, but coming in either as a distributor or for wholesale consumption, these are two really good options. Uh, I have um, two distributors that I'm currently working with, one in California uh, and one near my home here in Chicago that came in at this level. Uh, but they've been working their way up and they have both reached master affiliate because that is the place you want to be. And I'll share with you guys uh, with my distributor in um, California, you know, yes, yes, no, no, I don't want a business. I don't want a business. Okay. So she came in as a quick start because she did see the value in saving. Uh, you know, a couple of months later, maybe nine months later, she calls me up. Hey, I have someone who's interested. Will you help her out? Of course, that's what we do. So, you know, I did the same thing with her friend. I exposed her, shared, connected her, etc. Her friend decided to come in as a quick start. And I had a call lose up and I say, hey, congratulations, you have a potential business partner. Unfortunately, you didn't make any profit from them. Well, you know, she has a busy life and schedule just like we all do. So a lot of times it was just leaving her voicemail drops and she would not really get back to me. But you better believe that this one message I left her where I said, you made no profit from that, she put me up right away. And she said, what do you mean I made nothing from that? She was my referral. I said, yes, but do you remember the comp plan that you didn't want to hear about and you didn't want a business? Of course she said, yes. And I exposed her to it. Um, I said, well, it pays on the difference. Your friend came in at the same level. Therefore, there is no difference. I said, would you like to find out about the 40%? She said, yes, I would. And so <clears throat> she became a master in March. Uh, and at the same time, brought in um, three quick starts. So she's working her business. Um, she sees that this is a very viable business. She loves the products. She got on them just for prevention. And uh, we're just so excited to be working together. It's been amazing. You know, and my husband and I started at 40% right from the get-go four years ago. Not because we wanted a business, but because we wanted the best price for our personal consumption. On a family of four, you know, that could get pricey. But we just positioned ourselves to be at the best savings. Three months later, unbeknownst to us when we got started, People wanted what we had, and we were just at the best place to make a profit, the best profit from that. So, um, like I said, any decision is a good decision, but these two are very popular, and you can kind of see why. So, the next step is to register and go. You have to follow up uh, with your customers, with your distributors. You help with a product regime. So, you know, um, I've been trained to say, okay, give me a call when you get your product. Um, you, you will open it up together sometimes and I'll let you know um, how to take it. I, I've told a lady once, you know, she, I called her, oh no, I haven't opened it. Uh, I'm just sitting here, you know, with my feet up trying to rest. And I said, hey, well, hey, you know, while we have this conversation, why don't you go get your Relive box, open it while we're talking with each other, grab yourself something to write with. As I tell you how to take it, you're just gonna write on the can or the lid how to take it. She said, okay, I can do that. And she did. And she is having amazing results. And she thanks us for you know doing these conversations with her because she's the type of person that needs it. So, you know, day one, did you take your shape? Um, I, gra I grabbed that um, wake and shake image and I just texted to people, good morning, don't forget to have your shake, I've had mine. Uh, and people are appreciative of that because it takes time to build a habit. And if people aren't into these habits at the beginning, yes, we might have to work with them a little bit more. Eventually they'll become independent and uh, we won't need to call them as much. You know, I have a customer right now who says, I really do want this, but I need your help. So Diane and I have been connecting with him two times a week. 
and he apologizes to me. I said, please don't apologize. You know, we're more than willing to help with you. And what a blessing, right? If all our prospects and customers wanted us to connect twice a week, I'm sure that we will, would all be more than happy to do so. Um, and so just, you know, don't let go of that connection with them. We see here that even though it says register and go, we are still connecting them. So these steps are along the entire um, process. Um, who do you know that could benefit from these products or this business? Um, and we just ask them, right? We ask them for referrals. I mean, you're feeling great. You've heard some stories. I mean, this customer of mine that we connect with twice a week, he's said, oh, I'm not interested in distributing, uh, you know, I, and we try to tell them, right? Maybe it's just for savings. Um, and uh, this last time that I talked to him on Thursday, he says, um, you know, I'm not quite there yet, but I'm intrigued. I, I'd like to eventually learn how people are leaving their full-time careers to do this as a business. And this is a person that when he got on as a preferred customer said, this is not for me. I'm not a business. I'm not intending to sell, but it's these stories and these connections that, you know, there's something in their life that they're trying to address. And by connecting them with these stories, um, they, we, help, we help them make a decision. Um, we, there's nothing more important here about being ready. Uh, I remember that initially when I got started, Diane came with me to a local restaurant and we were meeting with a prospect who was ready to go. And I did not have a paper application with me. I thought technology was gonna be on my side and work. And when we got, when she was ready to register, the Wi-Fi connection wasn't working. And of course, you know, no paper application. I just said, okay, you know, we'll take care of it. When I, when I get home, I'll give you a call. Well, what happened when I got home, she didn't pick up. Life gets to people and it can happen in a second. And I think that the intention here is to be ready for them when they're ready. Not so much because we're trying to make a sale but we know the power that our products and our company have to change the lives of others. Because a lot of times we've already experienced that. And we also know that things get in the way. I mean, it took Diane a year of conversations with me. And I told Diane, it's not the time, Diane. Sorry, and thank you for your time. And so, you know, that's a year that we could have been getting results, you know? But things happen for a reason. And I, I did, you know, when it was time, I said, okay, Diane, special event coming up. Can I go? And, you know, we were ready then. We were ready then. And that night at our first special event without trying the products, uh, we registered as master affiliates. We, we just knew. We knew the product was quality. We knew the company was quality after attending that event. And we didn't know where it was going to go but no regrets, eternally, eternally grateful. So we wanna help them take action and make their decision as well. Diane is gonna share with you um, how we get started with follow-up. Okay, so guys, remember these three words. We follow up with prospects. I have a prospect folder where everyone is on a piece of paper. I have a customer folder. Everybody's on a piece of paper and it's in the folder. And I have a distributor folder. And these are the three different categories that we need to follow up with, the three different kinds of people. Um, you know, we need to set it up right with people. Um, we need to let them know we're gonna continue the conversation. And I believe Edith used those words. We're going to continue the conversation in the next 90 days. And I'll tell you, proper follow-up is the only way you're going to really get ahead in this business and long-term because the follow-up, the people's lives you change, they become your best friends. You want to build the relationships. You want to introduce them to our system and to the real of family. You want to be excited. They can see you on the other side of that phone because they can hear it in your voice. 
You want to be excited for their results. Help them develop their story. I mean, I love helping people develop their story. And if you go to Positively Charged Facebook page in the files, Sean Bergeron has how to share your story. And it's, and it's a little template. How to share your business story, your health story in a little template. So go to those files and learn your story. And you can use the people who are getting results with you to share your, their story with your new prospects. And it gets them excited. And so this is what we want to do. And what does the follow-up do? Well, it builds excitement. It counters negatives. I swear, um, when I got on this product, I had a lot of negativity from my family. Oh, they saw you coming. Oh, man, you're on what? What did you pay? I mean, these are people who are sick, tired, and broke, and they're telling me I'm nuts. And you begin to believe them if you do not have these people calling you. And I'll tell you, my sponsor did a terrific job introducing me to the Rela family. And that's what she said. The day of the presentation at her house, she says, you're going to be meeting these people over the phone. And eventually, you'll be meeting them in person at a conference, at meetings and whatnot. I'm so excited to work with you in the next 90 days. She planted that seed in my head. And that's what we have to instill in people. That is setting it up right. Um, it also helps to see results through other people's stories. How many times are we on the phone with the third party validation as they're talking? Our customer says, oh, yeah, that's happening to me. Oh, yeah, that too. And we're like, what? She never mentioned that to me. But it, it's like magic. I don't know what it is. They forget how bad they felt. We forget how bad we felt. Trish Fisher says many times, a very um, famous ambassador in Relive, never forget where you came from. Never forget how you felt. Because that's the kind of... Um, that's, that's what you, you need to work with, that attitude, when you're working with new customers. And we have these new customer questionnaires, follow-up. These are two different ones. There's so many out there. Mary Peters, mother of nine, you know what she did? She took index cards, and she wrote, you know, Aunt Susie, five things she was looking for. She dated it, what product she was on, and best time to call Aunt Susie. And she documented on the, the, the card when she called her, what results she saw, if she's going through any detox, maybe she wants a business, and she'd document everything on the card. And then she would put it in the card file box. She had Saturday to Sunday files. So every, like what, it's Saturday today, she'll pull the Sunday cards and she'll look at them and see who she needs to call for a follow-up for these people for tomorrow. And she'll jot it down. And today, it's so easy. We text people. That was, gosh, 27 years ago. Today, we text people and say, can you help out with a call at 11? And you know in a minute. You don't have to be on the phone and talk to people and, you know, um, kind of waste 15 minutes. It's like a minute, a half a minute, you send a text. And then, but Mary would write that down and then she'd clip them together, put in the morning one calls in front, the back calls in back, and she'd paper clip it and put it back in the box. And Sunday morning, she'll take that out, put it in her back pocket. That's how she did her follow up on index cards. Don't, don't think you have to print these things out, guys. Just get started and do something. Um, and then, the next one is really, I love this, the follow-up. And Edith, you have a story here, right? Uh, yeah, so the follow-up, uh, I love this quote. People will forget what they heard faster than they will forget how they felt about what they heard. And um, it, it, was, uh, it came close to home because um, I have a friend, a, a nun friend, who... Um, shared something similar. You know, she said people will not care about what you tell them as much as they care about how you made them feel. And um, when, when they know that you are coming to them because you love and care about them and you want to help if they're willing to take the help, that will definitely make the follow-up so much easier. Um, the follow-up is, is so important. <clears throat> excuse me, 
Um, <clears throat> I mentioned my friend Sal, right, and how we've been connecting with him twice a week, and um, now he's intrigued about the business, even though, you know, he put a little bit of his hand up and said, not yet, but he's not close to that opportunity anymore. Um, my friend Letty, who just uh, went master affiliates uh, because of a, a pressing health concern. And she said, you know, she sent my husband and I a text, thank you and your husband for being with me through this journey. That's, you know, regarding the follow-up connections that we did for her. Um, and a, another just, you know, recent mom, first time mom, um, who said, you know, I'm just going to pay retail because I need to know what it's going to do for me. Um, before her month was up, she, she sent me a text. I love Relive. How do I save 25%? So when we do the follow-up correctly, when we um, engage them with these stories that, you know, they don't know our possibility until we make these connections for them, uh, you, it makes a difference not just in your business, it becomes a story of hope. I mean, you have a solution and uh, we, we just need to share it. And, and the better we get at doing this the right way, you know, getting rid of our fears and our concerns, because if we don't get past our fears and our concerns, then we can't provide that hope for others. And people are looking for hope. My friend said, I've lost all hope. And then she heard Christine Lothinger's story. She said, and I told her, Letty, would you like another story today after she made the decision to go master? She said, no, Edith, that story was good. That one will keep me for a while. You know, and, and I didn't leave it at that. I sent her a text earlier today and we will be connecting again today. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and the next one is develop positive daily habits. We, you know, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, guys. And how are we managing our time? You know, we have distractions. I, I can't even begin to tell you what's on my plate. It's so full. I mean, I have two plates overflowing. But um, what, what, I'm do, what I know is, I think of it this way, in a 24-hour period, we have green light time and red light time. Green light time are the golden hours we can talk to people. Red light time is the time we cannot talk to people, probably, you know, before 9, after 9 p.m. Um, and I know everyone listening here is here because they want to build a business. I ask you to ask yourself, how have you been handling your green and red light hours? Could you organize your time better? Um, it, it's not like I wake up the day of and begin planning. Probably only a very few people can do this. Um, my week is filled out every single Sunday before the week in my week at a glance planner. Everybody needs a planner. This is what works for me and my team. And, you know, we've partnered with other ambassadors. We work together five hours a week where we have Zoom. We have online stuff. I mean, we've even introduced a new coffee with Mindy Jones and Michelle Nesbitt at 10 a.m. Central on Thursday. Um, you can have people listen to that in your living room. Stories coming into your living room as you're sampling the shakes for your friends. The, the, um, it's, it's just amazing what you can do with so much that we have, guys. But I put these events, these, these five hours a week, a Zoom, and you can find them on Positively Charged. Um, you, I put these events and schedule them in my planner for the week. And who am I going to invite? I jot down the hosts and the guests with the replay number of the short and sweet call so I know I can flip back two weeks. Oh, yeah, that's the person who was on the short and sweet call. And, um, oh, that, that's who I wanted to talk to from the Commit to Success. I write that down in my book. What does your week look like, guys? What do you have filled out? And, you know, um, the last thing I'll say on this is, um, when I got started, I would sit down around the round table on the Sunday night, say, okay, who has what going on? And in my planner in red would be all the kids' activities, our doctor appointments, uh, dentists, whatever. In pencil is relive because things change. 
and I would always have time blocked out for my relive. I, I just always did. So, you know, ask yourself, how, how are you planning your day? And I, I think if you don't have a planner, I didn't, I bought a planner. Oh, I'm going to really work it this year. Nope. Empty planner. Next year, third year, fourth, I did that for six years. Isn't it ironic? The year, the seventh year that I decided to really work it and, and hold myself accountable to putting stuff in the planner, I, I rose to the level of senior director. I, I'm a turtle. I've been very slow. And um, hopefully that shows you that it doesn't matter when you get there. Just never quit. You will get there. But sit down with yourself, your family, and schedule your week. Choose what works. You know, carve it out. No excuses. And Joyce Ferguson says all the time, if you know each other's plans and it's written down, that's success. Once you have it scheduled in, now you fill with what? And that's where the five hours come in with positively charged. And it does say here, prioritize your five most important things to do. Number one, I get up and pray every morning. No excuses. Number two, I exercise every day. No excuses. And then three, four, and five could be different things. But get those five things down, write them down, and I'll tell you, you're, you're heading off to a wonderful day. The Relive Success System is the way you expose people to stories. Um, it, it does help continually build the wall of belief and yours. You know, we do have a wealth of information and tools. Don't let it overwhelm you. I tell, you know, my line, pick the two or three that you are comfortable with and master those. Work your Relive business around them. Uh, the success system includes also your upline. Use them every day. And sometimes we feel like they won't have time for us or they might be too busy. Uh, I'll tell you again, I learned this, you know, the hard way. No, we definitely want our downline to be communicating with us. For this Hawaii promotion, um, Diane and I have been planning weekly. We chat every Sunday night, look at what's happening now, what happened before, and create a new plan for the week. So, um, you know, definitely use the upline. There's plenty of recorded calls and three-way conference calls through phone and Zoom now. Uh, and, and again, you know, pick those that work for you and embrace those. Once you've master those, you can introduce others. We can move on to the next slide. I think the next two, because I talked about our upline here. The three-way calls, you know, this is very huge and validation. Um, I don't know why. People take it better from a third party than they do from me. So you know what? That makes my task a little bit easier. I just introduce them, and I've had calls where it seems like they were lifelong buddies and friends forever. So it's, it, those three-way calls are amazing. Uh, the special events and conferences, uh, we have one coming up. And, you know, again, they just show a much bigger picture. That Freedom Now conference that happened not too long ago, what an amazing visual as to the global business that we have a hold of here with Relive. Next slide. And definitely know the current promotions. What could an extra one, two, or three thousand dollars do for one of your distributors or for you? And again, mentioning you know that the best way to do this is when you're working together and your organization takes those top three places. You know, this has happened in the past, not too long ago, with Marsha Flegel and Doty's um, organization. So, what excitement there! We also have a preferred customer promotion going on right now with the preferred customer promotion, which is on the next slide. Uh, it's actually Ju July 31st. It's going through July 31st right now. We're waiving the $10 uh, joining fee. You can, depending on your choice, get 10 or 20% instant savings. Uh, so know those things. And sometimes, you know, that's where uh, people wanna get started and that's fine. And with this option, it's also free shipping. We have our promotions one, two, and three, which um, I think this slide might be a little bit out of order. If you didn't realize, the company has changed the order of them. So promo one is earn your free product. You get a $100 Relive product credit when you sign up or maintain three preferred customers on auto ship. 
My husband and I were able to do that last month. So we have our product credit. Um, you can also, I mean, they've added, Relive is always um, being so gracious, gracious and grateful. Now you can also get a $200 Relive product credit when you sign up three preferred customers on auto ship in one month. So definitely be informed here. Promo two is get three quick starts. Um, and once you accomplish that, it's a $250 bonus by getting three frontline quick starts in the month. And the last one is the uh, $250 master affiliate sign on bonus. So again, they're a little bit out of order in this slide and that's because the company has just rearranged that order and added a $200 product credit for the preferred customers. And that just happened this month. Um, engage your team, Diane. Tell us how to engage our team. Oh, wait, no. First of all, this one, we mixed them up. <laughs> um, thank you, Edith. So create massive action. Guys, this is so important. Don't, dreams don't work unless you do. What would happen if we put our heads down and work like we've never worked before? Well, I, I will tell you this. Um, I'm going to tell you, my head is spinning, working with Edith and Cindy Lunz's lines. There's so many people. Lives are being changed. Uh, bonuses are being earned. And I'll tell you, these two have popped their heads up for the last 10 months, and they will be going to Hawaii with me. So that's what would happen when we put our heads down and work like we've never worked before. We are talking to everyone. Our pipelines are full. We're having fun. And I just can imagine us sitting in Maui, John and Cindy, and Martin and Edith, and me and Kevin with our toes in the sand, sipping our blue Hawaiians. And just really reminiscing on these last 10 crazy months because all of us have busy, busy lives. So, you know, um, what can happen, it's pretty powerful. And you do want to talk to everybody. And I'm just going to share a quick story. There was a lady that just came back into my life after being in my life a, a long time ago. So when my Rosie, my Relive baby, our fourth one, was four years old, I was talking to everybody. We were out and about on a Saturday. And we went into Faisal's to buy some flowers here in Chicago. And Rosie pulled on my shirt in line. Mom, you're not going to talk to anybody else are you I said no Rosie we're done we're gonna plant the flowers we're done well little did I know that when it was my turn at the register this woman Patty um, I said how are you doing she goes well I'd be doing better if they let me talk to people I can't even talk to anybody I got to rush through the line I looked at Rosie and gave her a look she's like no mom I'm like oh yeah Rosie she has to hear so I said <laughs> Hey, I lifted her tag. I'm like, hey, Patty. I said, I'm Diane. I said, I get paid for being on the phone talking. Does that interest you? Would, would you be interested in earning money from home? It was that simple. She goes, heck yeah. And she whipped out her phone number and gave it to me. And she, I, she, she says, when will you call me? She was so excited, guys. I said, well, uh, Monday, 9 a.m. Okay. She actually called me. I had given her my card. She called me. And she goes, I didn't know if I was supposed to go to your house. You're going to my house. She was so excited. I mean, this was like a textbook perfect um, situation. And I just said, I'll come to your house. Well, I went to her house. She loved what she heard. She went to the meeting. Uh, the next day, she, she, the same thing she said to her husband that I said to mine, you got to hear what I heard. You got to see what I saw. You got to meet who I met. Oh, my gosh. I value your opinion, Clark. You got to hear this. Tell me what you think. He went the next Tuesday, and I believe he came in even with his golf shoes. It was right after he golfed. And, I, and he was like, his arms are folded, you know. He's like kind of negative. And his arms started unfolding as he heard the stories. And afterwards, he's like, come to our house tomorrow. Um, they quick started right there at his house the next day. They sampled the product, and by the end of the month, they were master affiliates. She got a sign on her car. She introduced to me to Pilates and got back into exercising again. We had so much fun talking to people in the community. You guys, it was awesome going to the presentations and the trainings. And it's like the, the people's lives you change. They really do become your best friends because you're working with them. You're on the phone with them. And um, Patty and I, for some reason, we lost track. It has been I don't know, 15 years? Well, she saw a post of mine on Facebook with the uh, challenge, the Fit3, how I'm still down 30 pounds 
and love in life, she she um, said, hey, I got to get back on that relive. Her mother's never been off of it. And she took some of her mom's product, felt really good. And so she says, I want to get back on it. Well, she's a master affiliate again just last month. And she's so excited. So I, there's another person. We're going to create massive action with all these people, guys, in the Chicago area. And it's going to explode. So I'm excited. And uh, the next slide is engage your team. And, you know, to have massive action, they need to do what you're doing. So you want to develop a library of stories. You want to help them develop a library of stories. Everyone they meet. They need a notebook, and if you don't have it, guys, I'd get a notebook for my stories, date it, who was on the call, what, you know, um, what was their story, and I'll even give the phone number to them because if they're a distributor, they should know these people and start using them on three-way calls. So I just love this slide. Um, with massive action, you need to engage your team, help them meet the real of leaders to develop friendships. Let go and let them lead. And then it's the international conference, Edith. Right, which, We're winding down here, guys. Hang on. Uh, so the international virtual conference, August 28th to the 29th. Register online now. Um, you know, my first conference was a physical conference to St. Louis, six short months after we got started. If I wouldn't have done that, I don't know where I'd be with my results, with my relive business, because it really did just validate everything we thought and heard up to that point. And um, there's nothing like being upfront, close and personal uh, with corporate, with the people that make our products. It's just amazing. And I know that it's going to be an event like no other because relive just knows how to put on events, whether virtual or physical. I mean, that last Freedom Now was amazing. I didn't think it would be possible virtually, but it was. So um, we just have fun. You know, Tom Pinnock says, if you're not having fun, you're done. And we can do that physically in person or through virtual connections. So register for this conference. Um, and right, so what is it going to take for your success? With the next slide, your success does require an equation and this is the equation consistency take action every day uh, when i first started i was taking my lunch break as a teacher one or two calls during my lunch break and in that first year we brought in four masters so the fact that you know i don't have time it really is an excuse right so here's that persistence you can make money or excuses but not both your business is going to grow my business is going to grow based on the actions i take not the actions my downline takes, I actually need to be the example for them. And so here's where that term determination comes in. Don't forget your dreams, don't forget your goals, and take action every day that's gonna get you one step closer to those. Uh, success will happen if you make a long-term commitment to yourself. Yeah, right, and um, you know, as you're out in the bar doing your relive business, I love this slide. This is not from me. Someone posted it on Facebook. I'm like, Jennifer, I want this in. This is an iceberg, guys. What do you see on the top? Success is an iceberg. What do people see? Success. You know, if you all knew me 27 years ago, you would say what some of my uplines said. Well, she's not going to last because I just had no self-confidence. Um, I had a dream that one day Kev would leave his side jobs and come home and be a dad on his days off um, so we could be a family. And I, I knew I had to do it. I knew I had to be persistent. I knew I had to work through the obstacles. And when I failed, I had to get back up again. And quicker than I got back up, you know, a week or a month ago prior, um, I, I had to, maybe if I was going to be down, not as long. And I, I learned to sacrifice. Guys, my friend here wanted me to be on the softball team. I love softball for uh, years. And I said, Tuesdays, I have presentation. Saturdays are my trainings. Well, they practiced on Tuesday nights right across the street from me in the park. All I would have to do is cross the street. And they uh, did their games, had their games on Saturday. And I said, I, I just can't. I, I can't. I just, I, I, I got to do this. And, oh, it just, 
it tore me when I would get in my car and go to the training and they're setting up for their game or, you know, I'm leaving for the Tuesday meeting. They're all out there and they're practicing and they're just having fun. That's a sacrifice, guys. But um, it, it was a small disappointment compared to what I have today. You know, it's been a lot of hard work. People don't see the dedication. I mean, when I when I broke my hand, it was catastrophic. That was written in the medical records really bad from an airbag in October. It's only been eight months. I, I've been having a lot of therapy and, um, you know, just so much going on. And But I knew I, I had to keep working. And it's a lot of personal growth. I cannot tell you the personal growth in Edith. I mean, it, it just is amazing. And to see that in, in people that you bring in, uh, they need to see it, the growth in you, and they know the growth will be coming their way. we got to work on ourselves before we work on anything else. And that's why every morning I put to prayer and I say, who do you need me to help today, Lord? Who do you, who, who do you, where should I be that I am not? And I don't know. It just, it's weird. There's no coincidences. When you get on that path in the morning, um, you definitely are on a path to talking to people, reaching out to people, because you believe they were put there for a reason. But people just see the success, and um, there's just so much more of my story, the ups and downs, losing lines, losing entire organizations, but you keep going because it's, it's really about um, what – you know, who's the next one we can talk to? Who's the next life we can change? So remember that, guys. Um, don't look and see where I am. Look where I came from and just know that your direction is, is going to be there and it will be up to you. And after that, Bob Montgomery, I love it. You know, you, you get involved with Relive. I, I, I have a tear in my eye here all choked up. This man has changed my life because he said yes to this company how many years ago. And I cringe to think if I didn't go and hear about this at the presentation. I, I just, and I don't even know why or how I did it. I have no idea. I was physically drained, exhausted, emotionally. I couldn't give any more. And for some reason, I went to that big meeting. And what Bob said, you get involved with Relive to change your health and finances. And, guys, it did in more ways than one. And now you stay involved because Relive changes you, and it will continue to change me. And that's that. we just have to believe that. We not, need to find out how to work Relive in our day-to-day -day activities if it's what we want to do. And it will help you become the best version of yourself. And um, it all comes, you know, with intentionality. So intentional success, it, making money in Relive is not automatic. To grow your business, you must be intentional. And, uh, you know, I reiterate what Diane said. When I became intentional about I mean, there was successes at the beginning. Yes, there was. But when my husband and I became intentional about it, uh, we started to see the consistent successes. Um, and we know we are in this for the long haul. Um, why do we have time to do the things we want to do, but not the things we need to do? And like Diane said, right, her sacrificing the, the softball, um, it does come with some sacrifices, but they're minimal compared to the opportunity that Relive has for all of us. Uh, we hear it all the time. I'm, I, I'm busy. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. We're all busy. We all only have the same 24 hours, but it's a matter of what are you making a priority? And are those things that you're making a priority consistent and in line with the goals and dreams you wanna accomplish? Because if they're not, then you're not gonna accomplish your goals and dreams. That doesn't mean it's impossible. You just gotta shift your priorities because it is possible. And there are important calls this week. And these are the Monday, 7.30 p.m. Commit to Success training call. You have the number right there. Uh, on Wednesday, the 7.30 p.m. Opportunity presentation. It's a great way to introduce new people to Relive. I tell my people, what better way, right? All you gotta do is connect them and introduce them. I love to get them on uh, with me. I don't just send out the number uh, because this way you know if they're on or not and you can do follow up there. 
What'd you think? Where'd you like to get started? Uh, oh, you didn't get on, why not? Well, what's a good time that we can do something different? There's so many ways to expose people to them. The Thursday night short and sweet call. This one's amazing because it is short and sweet. You know, so <laughs> if they say they don't have time, I say great because it's very short. You'll get, you know, a bang for your buck and, and they love this call. They do. And of course, the Saturday 1030 um, a.m. training and you go to Zoom, get connected. You can join by phone as well. Um, so again, there's just a wealth of information and resources and tools out there use them use them to help build your real business so what's your call to action today guys here's where we're ending it can you identify three to ten new people well i'll tell you one i identified was a referral from my salon named bessie she lost her husband six months ago and she is just beside herself she's lonely in the COVID, she's been isolated her two sons are married with kids but busy lives in in in, in the in the city and um, I got a referral from the salon, and I met with her. This woman loves these stories. She wants to get on the short and sweet every single Thursday. And if I have someone else on it, I let her listen to the recording with me. I don't just give her the number. Um, she's not into a business, but her friend now is on the product, Connie. So I'm going to be following up with the two of them. I could very much see the two of them doing the business because they know a lot of people. Her, husband, her son owns a Greek restaurant, and they're just, she's a pillar of the community um, um, in her church. So, you know, um, know what your action is going to be. Are you going to set an appointment? Are you going to do the follow-up with those prospects, the customers, the distributors? Um, and, you know, you heard stories today that hopefully touched your heart. And I'll just leave you with this. You heard encouragement and support you heard from us two moms actually former teachers who didn't have a clue about building a business but look at us now and you better believe we will be celebrating in maui i'll say it again with our toes in the sand sipping our blue hawaiians reflecting on all the fun times and everything that we've accomplished these past 10 months guys let's go change the world make it a great day